Well, what comes next? Floridians passed Amendment 2 last week, putting the state on course to a $15 minimum wage by the year 2026. Critics say it could result in job losses, while supporters believe everyone could benefit. Our Capitol reporter, Forrest Saunders, looks at the impact the increase has had on other states. A path to $15 an hour has Francois Paul smiling. I have the most hardest and important job of caring for the ill. The CNA is one of 2.5 million Floridians expecting a wage boost, a major improvement from her hourly $10. You cannot support a family with those wages. But opponents continue to say Amendment 2 is bad for business, warning job losses and closures are ahead in That's ads like this. Having this uh, amendment pass is not going to help any small business. So is it yeah, true? I well, Florida is the eighth state to approve a $15 minimum wage, and research shows in other states, for the most part, businesses have been able to absorb these costs. I don't think there's any reason to expect that this will bankrupt businesses. That's Alexis Davis with the Florida Policy Institute. She says 15 years ago, the same complaints arose when the state put current... And while there are some concerns, the GOP-controlled legislature will limit the new amendment, approving exemptions for some businesses in the upcoming session. Supporters say they are hopeful the policy's bipartisan approval will discourage that from happening. 